and my husband was asking for another child. And um, he was asking several times, and I just flatly told him no, because I had plans, and that was to go back to work. At one point, I got convicted, and um, I got convicted that maybe I was saying no to God, and I wasn't just saying no to my husband. Soon after, we went on vacation, and I was walking alone on the beach, and the Lord said to me, He said, you're going to have another child, and you're going to name her Faith. I thought, who am I, you know, to say no to a child that God has already chosen? When I saw this photo of Faith that Nathan took, I thought, wow, if, uh, if a picture could you know, speak a thousand words, this photo does that. Faith in this photo is just with reckless abandon. She's worshiping God. And when I saw this photo, I thought, this is what the Lord foresaw, a young woman that would joyfully worship him. I often say that, you know, the Lord opened up the floodgates of heaven because I said yes to faith, because um, I was satisfied with two children, and if anybody were to ever tell me that I would end up having seven children, I would have really laughed. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you do it? I could never um, raise seven children, and I, I usually just say to them, you know what? You're right, you can't, and neither can I, but when we're obedient to the Lord, He gives us the grace and the ability to do his will when we're in tune to Christ and who he is and, and thanking him for the little things um, that go on in our lives. I, I think we just have that real connection with him that when he does speak to us, we know with certainty that it is him. If I were to summarize and, and look back at, at the things I've done wrong and, and the things I've done right, I would probably just simply say, love them well. You know, just love them well. I think it's always important to have a, another godly person in your child's life. Um, you know, you can raise them up as you want to as parents, but it's always nice to have others come alongside them and, and teach them and help them to grow into the people that they're meant to be for the Lord. And I think sometimes some children are more receptive to um, other people more so than their parents at times and, and I think when another godly per person can walk along with your child I think that's just such a, a great thing and a great influence for them.